Hello and welcome back to the Forever Look Challenge Pokemon Yellow. I am planning to just get through Mount Moon today. And we have a nice little team of a Pikachu which will remain a Pikachu. Uh, my Nidoran Mel will become a Nido King. Spiro and Rattata are staying the same. Butterfree obviously won't go much further and Zubat is going to become a Golbat. We did our encounter in the last episode so we are just going to be doing encounters trainers. I'm using um, Rattata at the front because I gave it the water gun um, I need it to be good at something. But until we get a bit further, we need to just keep on going with what we've got. Um, I'm quite happy just to see what the Pikachu can do. And there we go. This is going to be the, the slow part of the game again. Uh, we know it's just the grinding away. We just want to take on everyone just to get the experience points and work on from there. We, we don't need much more. Like We know that this is going to be a while. Um, and then afterwards, once we get out of here, we can do Route 4 and a Nugget Bridge and that lot. And we can actually start getting a few more encounters, which is a massive thing for us. We need some more to put in the box ready for later generations of the game uh, we've been waiting we mentioned before that the one major loss for me was losing um, the first encounter so somehow I've got this far into a Nuzlocke without my encounter being a Pidgey which I think is kind of ridiculous really that is one of the most commonly annoying Pokemon you can get and and this damn Weedle decided it wanted to poison me and make my challenge day all the more difficult um, who have we got? Dewey is another Zubat it will kill so we might just do this it will resist the poison so I probably shouldn't get poisoned and then it will just regain the health it's going to lose which is fine which is all we need it to do and there we go we've got this one done and dusted and we know we need to try and get Dewey up a little bit but and we also want to get Go up if it wasn't we can actually probably risk this now and get the antidote off I'm pretty sure it doesn't learn anything like that so this is a non-threatening mon uh, we're just going to be grinding through our PP which is fine we're going to do good damage uh, we probably will have to do the really annoying thing and go and have to heal up after match one. But we get there, we're going to grind, we know the way we're going. We just need to make sure we have a good time and get some good encounters. We have, we've mentioned before that run one is kind of crucial because of the number of encounters you're going to be dealing with. And once you look at the numbers and the figures, we know that this is going to be a lot. Uh, yeah, we're going to head off out. Ooh, sand trip. Did not know they were in here. That would have been a nice encounter. Not going to lie. This is why we had water gun. Because, oh, of 
thought it would do a lot more than that. Oh dear. We are going to have to swap. Okay, let's do a sand attack. So we can take sand attacks. Um, I was hoping more for Geodudes, but... Antara is pretty useless. Plus he's probably coming back. For Chad. Chad's just a tank. And this stupid sand thing. What's the sand? Who would have thought something called sand true would be using sand attacks on me all day long? Yes, yes, I understand you want to take my accuracy away. And that's going to be very annoying. And you're just going to keep doing this, aren't you? A sand attack, a scratch. So we're going to have to probably swap. Okay, we got it at last. And we're done. And the one I wanted to level up didn't level up. But Chad did, and to learn double kick. So I was right that it would learn double kick before Brock if I needed it. But I gambled it all on Mindy's confusion, and it was good enough. I have purposely not gone for this magic up because I don't want to have it too early in the game. Uh, if I lose something in this, I then have to use the magic up slash Gyarados. on the team, which I don't want to do. I don't want to be adding that too early. That, that's just common sense, I think. Um, we're going to put Gale at the front because we need a little bit of switch training. And unless we have a Sandshrew, we'll would be fine. I think this lady will have Nidorans. We should be all right just to deal with her without too many problems. The fairy, that's pretty much the same. It will hurt if it hits, so we are going to swap to Chad. But the idea is simple. And it's Sing. It's got Sing. <sighs> One of the worst additions. The only thing that's great about Sing is that they fixed it in later gens. We're going to bring Mindy out to get this done quickly. Um, we're going to go for Poison. Because let's just make sure if it does put me to sleep it's going to get hurt still. Uh, there we go. Slowly, surely doesn't do too much but we know that's not going to be too much of a problem it does what it needs to do there we go I've had another sing so we'll just put another one to sleep um, that, that's why we put the poison out just to weaken it down we're going to throw Dewey out for a little bit Should take a couple of pounds. We need some supersonic. And hopefully it hits, then we'll swap out yet again. To we will probably go back to go into Pikachu. So literally every single Pokemon has ended up having to deal with this pesky, pesky thing. And now half my team's asleep. Um, hopefully it just kills itself. But okay, if it's going to just growl me, it can growl me. It's going to get the poison damage anyway, which is a big plus for me. So... that does way more than it probably should which is also disappointing and you stupid stupid Pikachu this won't wake up will it uh, we're going to have to go to 
Karatata. You should take a pound relatively well. <laughs> I say that through gritted teeth. Um, Well, at least everyone got some experience in that one. <laughs> I don't know what the experience was, but it was very traumatizing. Um, we better get the hell out of here. Um, everybody's asleep, so... Actually, we might have a little stab at this with just Gal for some XP. I think it's only got leech life. I've learned it at nine I think it learned supersonic so so we'll get the easy kill on this it's not gonna hurt me in any way that's a good start for the escape plan <laughs> at least it's somebody effective like I think we're gonna try and be a bit more strategical with what we face like no more Clefairies, please. Just no more of those little buggers. Um, yeah, we're going to just go for it. We're going to keep going. We're going to have some... Um, we will keep the Spiro out front. I need to get a few more levels on it anyway. And we've got some stairs here, so... Uh, we'll get through. Oh god, no. That's not the one I wanted to face. I might just run away from this. Okay, we will try and get some levels. Levels are important. And that wasn't what I wanted to start with. In fact, we can get some good damage now. We're, we've leveled up ourselves. Okay, so we can take a crit as well, so that's helpful. We gave them a crit. And of course they're going to go and try and spam me some more. Just a plain scratch mine. And it got a crit, and that's Rattata dead. Great. That was my plan to get through this place as well. first death of the run is the one I expected to probably die, which is quite funny. Um, because nobody important got damage, we're just going to keep on do this ladder bit and move on. We know that this is easy enough to be, it might have supersonic if it starts playing around with that we might leave which is sad that we've now lost a Pokemon already but hey ho we just had to go for it didn't we I was expecting him not to miss both the water guns, if I'm honest. But it happens, that's part of the RNG. Let's just remove Rajata. Um, but we have to also put in a death, don't we? That's, that's the sad thing about this. We have a death. One death. Let's try this again. Add this. Oh, it's very frustrating when you lose one early on. And that's the other reason why I didn't take the magic up. Because now I would have to put that on the team. And it isn't much help.
there. I don't want to be grinding one up. I'm quite happy when I've got a stronger team, maybe. But until then, we have to just keep on with what we've got. I'm not. So we have one DAF to put into my box of information. Gone. All the information for Tara is gone. We'll release her on the next trip to Pokestop. I said we wanted to just get through this little bit. There's prob that's one like Team Rocket Grunt. Oh, that's a good one to face. And I can. I always knew that Veratata would be the first to go. It's more frustrating that I've wasted the water gun TM on it. It was the only thing that could learn it, to be fair. But yeah, I wanted it to deal with the Geodude. Which for some reason I still have not seen. Which is even funnier. I think most of the grunts are going to be easy enough to deal with. If we look at our HPs, they're all pretty solid. But if it uses supersonic, we know it's glitching now. It's already cheating like Radical Red. That's another easy dub. HP up, that might be good for certain things. We wanted to take you on every trainer, didn't we? So it's kind of important, I think, for levels. Good. You're not taking all of my HP, Sunshine. Yeah, you can take your one or two, which is probably all you're going to get. So you get one for that, so I don't need to worry about this thing. That I do need to worry about though. So we've got two layers off. We're going to have to swap because I don't want to hurt myself. And it will use Leech Life. No, it's using Super Sonics because it knew I was going to swap. And of course it hits on a second go. And I hit myself. Because why the hell not? That's just how it goes, I guess. So we're going to have to swap back to Gal to finish this off. Yeah, I just don't know why it keeps assuming I'm going to swap. I shouldn't know this. But anyway, we got there. We have potions for a reason. Uh, we'll level Pikachu back up. And we'll go in to do this battle. After this guy, we'll go back to the stop again. Because that's how we want to get through this slow and steady. Oh no, that's the sort of thing I don't want to be facing. Uh, actually, it's only going to have scratch, so we'll just layer it down a little bit. Because it'll probably do that again. Just to be annoying. One more. And then we'll swap out. And there we are. Come back to this. This is the strongest. Defensively, I think. And this should do some good damage. Yes. It's going to do half. Fine. And there we go. Done. If only I'd done that with the last one. I wouldn't have had to deal with the same tragic events. Um, 
because we've been weakened a little bit, we're going to go past the sea. We're trying not. to do too much with this we want to keep a lot of it together and we'll get on to it slowly we'll get rid of this annoying guy who decided he wanted to take out my whole team. Uh, oh that's nice, nice ending. We should be able to two shot minimum. And done. We have destroyed this one. Time to get out again. And we can go and say goodbye to the, the most loyal member of the team. My underwhelmingly misused. Uh, Retata. Probably should swap that one out too, just for the exit. We will use Mindy as the bulk. Which is sad, but we needed to do it that way, or we're not going to get very far. So, you, you, you were why I had that thing prepared. Do it, but no damage. We're going to do this. We're going to do a cheeky little swap here. Uh, didn't do as much as I'd hoped, but put Dewey out. He can take a tackle. He can take a couple of tackles. Supersonic. And there we go, we're going to pester this Geodude to kill itself. And we're done, we're out, we're out. So that's the one positive, like, even though we have Geodudes to deal with, they're not going to be difficult. that we're going to put in the box and then we say goodbye that's a, that's a sad start to this third episode but we always knew we were going to lose someone along the way we're never going to get deathless because I'm not that good at these games So I'm actually a little bit tempted to start with um, the zoo bat going through this cave and do we? Because I can do the supersonic and then swap out. So we're all planned and ready to deal with the problems that I'm going to face. Um, I think there's only one person that has an electric and it might be one of the guys down here that has magnum I think it's the guy next door but this one might be the magnum I here's the magnum I we'll still try the confusion there's no like abilities in this game of course she fails miserably because good so that's a good start and it's not still I always go around for that we're probably going to use Chad 
because it's the tank. It just snapped out of confusion after one go, which is not helpful. In fact, we should be good doing these. We'll get there eventually. It can only really do tackle, which is pretty much what you're going to face for this first bit anyway. I was expecting a bit more damage that time, when it seemed to have been a bit more. Yeah, we got it. We got it. Do we? Chad's keeps growing, which is good. Come on, Chad. We will carry on with this. Oh, it's going to try and weaken me. Interesting decision, sir. We didn't expect that kind of strategical play. Two rounds of screech. Uh, that's not good because it probably puts me in one shot range. And I don't have quick attack. I'm going to be safe. To, but I'd rather be safe than lose a second one already. We can't keep. And we managed to level up, which is also a big, big plus sign. And we should have an item down here. One of them, I think, is an escape rope, but. Let's run from that one. Another potion. There's the rare candy, which we're going to save till later in the game. There's no point using it now, I don't think. Um, we won't, it's just going to be pointless to use it now really because I don't know who's going to make it out. I want to save it for when save from grinding time really. Oh something perfect for my spear to take on. Just needs to get a little bit of a peck in. We're done should be one and done because it's great attacking one. Okay, it's two and done. I'm a bit surprised. It's been doing a lot more damage to other ones a lot earlier than what it has this time, which should, I just feel like it needs to be a bit stronger. Um, So we're going to have some easy ones here, but when we got bug catchers, Spiro is, is, the, is the man, or it's the girl if we want. It's probably going to be three shots because of the stupid Harden, which is fine, whatever. And a canopy, so yeah, so we are okay with this. Rather slow my speed than me, but hey ho. And done. That's another bug catcher. Defeated! Oh, I do miss the Poke Vile, I'm not gonna lie. That is my favourite addition to any of these games. Just solely because of how good it actually is. <laughs> you can do a couple of battles and get the hell out of dodge. We're going for smart play here. Um, 
this is as I said, tension. This is why we put the zoop out first. It can confuse someone while I decide what we're going to do. There we go. No, no. Let the zoom zoom. You can get confused. This one's only going to have leech life, which is fine, I guess. Um, we'll go to go because we want to get the experience on this one more than anyone else at the moment. Um, it is the prime target, but it's the weakest on my team. Well, actually, no, it's joint weak, but Zubat's already out there getting its XP. Uh, well, it's the decided it's going to be itself for me, which makes it even easier. Go up a bit more. I think there's another item in this corner somewhere. Another Zubat. And a low level one as well, which is good. Back to the confusion. Nope. It actually missed. But why is Leech Life super effective against the poison type? When was that a thing? Let's see what it does when I do it to it. How much health do I get back? Well, this would be like the world's longest battle if I did this. Go back to being confused. And of course you're going to hit every time. And we'll just get this quick win. This time it'll probably hit itself. Yes, of course it will. And that's what we needed it to do, I guess. Um, we go on to the next battle I guess. Uh, boom. I need something that I can just use the leech life on really. Let's take this person on and we'll decide whether we're going to heal up first or an oddish. That's not bad because this should be super effective. But we did a confusion thing. And we can regain the health too. See, we're planning ahead here. We're doing this the smart way. Look at that. No need to use potions. It's only going to use it absorb on me and not do anything. So we're going to cruise this one. More grass Pokemon, please. Easy. Well done, Dewey. If it's down, we're not even going to swap for this. You stay out there, do we? Just continue your leech lives, and we'll won't take any problems here. We'll take one, like Vine Whip, probably. Okay, growth, 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 even. And that was probably the best battle Dewey's had. Just because of how easy it was. And we probably don't need to go back yet. More Zubats. <coughs> this one will have Supersonic, so we'll get it first. And I'm happy that it's trying to use that on me. I'm going to go to Gao. <coughs> I 
hurt yourself please thank you and peck hurt yourself again please perfect and another peck done more encounters uh, another zubat I can't help but think these zubats are just targeting me for no reason level 6 no, I'm not even going to bother I don't think this should do quite a lot of damage it's going to be give some take some but he's only going to ever do one to me and I'm going to be doing a lot more to it so I will stay fully healthy slow battles at the moment I think my Zubat will be doing struggle if it's not careful I'm quite missing these or something because it doesn't look like it's doing much damage we're going to do the next little bit here and see what we've got in the PP Bank. TM1, I forgot what TM1 is. Shall we have a look? It is Mega Punch. Ooh. Again, only Pikachu can learn it. Never mind. <coughs> we'll come back to that for a later pocket monster uh, what does the rocket have here a zubat of his own so we will do the old supersonic Pest. Oh, and of course we miss. His is faster, which is also a bit annoying. And we've missed two in a row. And he hits his first time. <laughs> RNG, baby. RNG. Come on, then. We'll just sweep you with the Pikachu. You ask for it, you're gonna face it. You're gonna die quickly. And of course you went supersonic back on me because you're that kind of toxic. And now it's only using supersonic, which is even weirder. And of course I missed two. now a bit too weak to risk come on then Mindy you can sweep but he's got straight in for another this guy this guy there we go quickly out from the butterfree or the quick win and an Ekins next we'll go we're just gonna stick with this because of confusion's gonna be super effective. Uh, no not wrap. I forgot these moves do exist in this era. They do literally no damage. As you can't just get out of them. We 
we know that there's an item here and it's something it's like it's an ether or elixir isn't it I forgot which one it was I can't know if this is going to be effective or not so stop this egg you are one of the most useless Pokemon for accuracy aren't you come on girl take a scratch Just for safety, blue potion, go up. Oh, pack. Yeah, one shot. Level 12, that's what we needed. Another level on, on the spear. There we go. I do need to go all the way back out. No, I'm not wasting a the escape rope on this. I wish there was. I should have probably done repels. Would have been a bit smarter of me, wasn't it? The old. Here we do it. Get confused. There we go. We will take these on because they're not too bad. Always got uh, Lindy as a full blown backup to finish it off. Confusion hurt yourself? No, nope, okay. Let me get you one shot on me. Fine, whatever, you little pesky rock thing. See, it's weird because when you play this, when I would play this on a more natural run, as I would call it, um, I wouldn't really mind if they passed out. <laughs> and you would just keep going with what you've got left. That's just how I've always sort of played these games. I can't be bothered with that one, but. And that was just quick way I used to play them, like, you didn't really care, but with this, I've, as I've been playing my Radical Red runs, you've tried to get a bit more attached, like, I tried like a Wonder Lock on Sword and Shield, which was actually quite a lot of fun, but at the end of the day we didn't really get very far with that either. Because I'm not the best at these type of games. and get through it this time. Wait, what have we got? Proper battles? We got like three more. We've got no more secret caves to go through. We've done that. We'll try and avoid the unnecessary battles for a while. No point. We want to get to the other side. Get to Cerulean. And deal with the next. We're going to take this chap on. We'll take the trainers on. But we're not going to take on the wilds. So 
It's a nice simple thing to take on. We will swap because I want to get this over with quickly. <laughs> Tata likes to hit itself. Oh, got the tail whip fine. Do your tail whips. Do all the tail whips. And you failed. Even better. And we've got a quick done. We're probably just going to give Chad this to get rid of them all. I don't really see the point in risking anyone else. Yeah, the Chad grew. It should be evolving soon, actually. We will swap to the old Pikachu. Thundershock yeah, should two shot this at least. And of course, it gets one, survives on one, and uses Super Sonic. We start hurting ourselves now. Because why not? You are a pain. That's all I have to say. Oh. Zubats are the scourge of this game. Yeah. I actually have to use one of my potions on my Pika Pika because I can't risk losing him. Otherwise, like, we're doing quite well with the levels. Like The newest two editions are the lowest, which is fine. This is the one you might want to avoid because I think he's going to be very Mr. Hiker, isn't he? We're going to do it. Oh, no, we're not going to do it because something else wants to take me on. <laughs> but we've already worked out that most of the stuff we're going to face is pretty weak around here. Until we get a bigger challenge, we are not going to worry too much. We just need to keep on plugging away. Until we get to the big fights, right? And they're not the most difficult of fights, we just know that they're going to cause me problems. Oh, you managed to dodge. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Yeah, we can take them for a while. And we'll just ease off for a bit. We know what we're facing. We know it's a, an a pesky little geodude again. And that's also something that's been quite surprising. As I mentioned, we didn't get a picture. Usually I always run a geodude myself. Um, basically because of things like Dig and Earthquake they're way too powerful for anything that it's not weak to so it's always like one of my go to mons but we know 
you can't always get the ones you want on another look and the forever lock is proving that you're gonna always deal with something different but we also have to remember this one gives me the options for later games well done Chad you leveled up some more you've earned yourself a potion because I'm too lazy to walk all the way out <coughs> starting to think my Pikachu is going to hate me but we don't want to take on these silly little battles at the moment We can do any of that sort of stuff at the end. There's no point. I don't want to have to waste potions and or walk back or lose someone. Oh god, and I can't escape from a Zubat. There we go. Bye bye. Boing. Through that fit. Another Zubat. For the next stage, we may drop down from the Zubat. For the two or three battles, we might just look to sweep. Because I think uh, Mindy can pretty much destroy them. There was definitely an item up there from what I remember. You were a spinner from what I used to remember as well. But you're not spinning around today. A Rattata. That's not the best thing to take on. Wow. And you failed me when I needed you most. Defense weakening moves. Let's just hope this two shots. There we go. Bye bye, pesky rat. And do we grew, which is good. And we will swap just for safety. I don't know why I've gone for this because it'll probably use supersonic and confuse me because he's toxic. No, no, he isn't. That's good then. Easy peasy pudding and pie, as they say. Um, I think I need to potion up. Do we this time? We'll go for my long trek around the outside because, you know, what this game wants more than anything else was you to do too much walking. A palace. A high level palace. Go Spiro. The pure disappointment in my voice is going to sum up everything we've just dealt with. And it didn't kill either. And I don't think I have Paradise Hills. Damn it. I should have just run, shouldn't I? I didn't think it had anything but absorb. <coughs> there we can get my second moonstone, I believe. Lovely. And we take this guy on. We, as we mentioned, we're just going to go for more of a sweep. 
I think Mindy can do most of the work. Yeah, see, confusion. I thought he was all poison. So, not overly worried. Level 15, nice. Oh, and I can now learn Sleep Powder. Well, we know what move we're getting rid of. And it's Harden. We don't need Harden anymore. Oops, next, Avaltor. Not something I want to take on with this. I want, would like to use Chad, but I should have healed him a bit more, but we'll risk it. Yeah, so even if it does have that sonic boom, which is the main thing I'm worried about, it's not going to kill. Again, this is my radical red insomnia catching up with me. <laughs> From the nightmare runs we had on that. Chad's just going for it. He's like, I'm not going to wait for anyone else. Back to Vindy. And this should be done. A little taco. <coughs> and it's finished. Um, and we get evolution so now we have a did a Reno um, we're just going to take the helix fossil um, I don't know if I need to declare what that's going to be at this stage of the game But for now, we're just going to say we're taking it, and it will get put in the box. If we do, we'll probably make it a first Evo, but I can't. No, I don't want to assume until I've double-checked that part of the rules. Yep, this is why we kept um, Butterfree at the front, because it can one-shot Jesse and James. And this is where we have, which we then go to Chad, who can then double-kick. We'll take a scratch first, then should do half. One guy is going to kill. I didn't think it would do that much. And back to Mindy. This is more just for safety. I just don't want to risk anything stupid. I guess we are right at the end of Belt Moon. Um, we are probably going to evolve Lidoran quickly. There isn't much point in me holding on. We've got most, like, most moves are going to be TMs. I'm also tempted to teach it Bind. I thought there were items up here. Uh, when we'll go in here, then we'll do our encounter. 
text then we can change the old layout this is under wave we will swap to Pikachu I just want to use the Thunder Wave that'll be and there we are, we are we can't go back now theoretically I need to catch something that's not going to evolve or whatever I catch cannot evolve But if it's something that's a single Evo, it's we're just going to leave it. Or it doesn't evolve. We're just going to keep it and be whatever. Actually, I want to get rid of some items. I.e. the fossil. This, as we've mentioned, this is probably the most tedious. We don't need that right now. No, I want the potions. I don't need the helix fossil. Uh, we'll check what that is. I think it's Thunder Wave. But it could be something else. Oh, it's Whirlwind, which is actually even worse. We're just going to sell that. We want to get a couple more Pokeballs anyway, so. Not a lot more money than I thought we had. Um, we just don't need Whirlwind, so we'll get rid of that. Then we'll buy. Get 10 more of these. Couple more. We'll do all of them. We'll screw it. We've got. I didn't actually get that. There we go. Let's see what our route for encounter is going to be. How's Pikachu? He's happy. He's happy. Which means I can guarantee the Bulbasaur. Which I don't want. Not yet, anyway. I want to do the two up there. Oh, Tara's come back to us. <laughs> what shall we call this? No, I, I can't really believe that we've gone from... And the worst thing about this is I'm not going to have the water gun on it. So it's not actually going to be as helpful as I probably want it to be. I'm going to call it Tara 2. Because why not? Uh, okay can't use numbers uh, it can work though no. oh, whatever we're just going to call it Tara 2 like this then we'll go back into the poker stop because before we do the next chapter I need to do a little bit of research on levels uh, we wanted to make this a little bit of a shorter one and somehow it was the Mount Moon expedition that took an hour I blame all the pesky zubats So that's going to do everything for this episode. Um, thank you for watching, and next time we go north. 
Ah, I'm sorry. Goodbye to everybody. And keep on... on playing the lock and see what you get.